I divide by negative 3. And I get x squared is equal to 10. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides. And I get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 10. But is, the square, is 10 a perfect square? No, no. Is that a number that has a nice square? This, by the way, this is what we would call the exact answer. This is exact. Exact answer or solution. But in, in your textbook and on the test, I may say, if the answer is not an integer, write an approximation to the nearest hundredth. So you take your calculator, you find the square root button in your calculator, and you, uh, you plug it in. So what does your calculator give you as the square root of 10? 3.16. 3.16. Positive or negative 3.16. Plus or minus 3.16. We call this our approximate answer. Approximation or approximate answer. Exact answer will have a square root in it if it's not a, 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 an integer. You wouldn't leave your answer like this. You wouldn't say my exact answer is the square root of 9 because you can simplify that to 3. You will stop here. But in this case, we cannot get a nice number out of that, so we have to say that's as far as we go with our exact answer. All right? I